Hello friends, brothers and sisters, my name is Denmark and welcome to Pathways of Hope. The gospel reading for today is taken from the Gospel of Mark chapter 6 verses 30 to 34 and it says, The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Do you love spending me time when you can just sit back, relax, and worry about nothing in the world and just rest? Indeed, me time or your own personal time of rest is very important, especially if you've been exhausted because of the workload you have just had in the past week or you just came from serving in God's ministry for the past few days. Then, it would be really important to step back and rest, to retreat from busyness of life and even service. But let me ask you, when was the last time you allowed the Lord to disturb that me time of yours? When was the last time you said yes to the Lord to stretch out yourself coming from the long day you've just had? I have a friend in my faith community whose experience was pretty remarkable. She just finished having lunch and was on her way back to her office. She probably enjoyed that lunch because she and her colleagues just had a very hectic week with all the deadlines they had to beat. So it was understandable that she just wanted to go back to her office and just relax and sit back. But on her way back, just a little near her office gate, she encountered a woman carrying a child. It was December, so she knew that this woman was asking for alms. It was also very hot that afternoon, so this friend of mine was a bit concerned about the child that this woman was carrying. Rather than entering the gate and going to her air-conditioned room, she approached the woman and child and began to interview her. Later on, she learned that the woman was carrying her own baby. She had no one to leave her baby with at home while she asked for alms. So then, she asked the woman if she had lunch already and replied that she hadn't had anything to eat since breakfast. So my friend decided to treat that woman and her child to lunch while continuing to interview her. And my friend learned that this child was not yet baptized. Asking the mother, she just said that they just had no money and were living a bit far away from the city to do anything about it. So my friend decided to help. In her mind, she was thinking that maybe this was the Lord's way of stopping her. Despite the inconvenience it brought, it was just the Lord knew this mother and this child needed her help. Fast forward a few days, they agreed to meet at a church. She also arranged the pre-Jordan seminar for the baby and the parents. She also provided for the fare for the family. And by God's own work, after the pre-Jordan, the church staff told my friend that the baby could also be baptized on that same day since there was a mass baptism at the church. So my friend hurriedly went back to the church and even brought another friend of ours to stand as godparents for the baby. She even treated the family to lunch as a celebration that day. Looking back, my, my friend just said, you know, if I did not stop and take notice of that woman and just went on my own business, who knows when the baby would have been baptized or if the baby would have been baptized at all. In the gospel, Jesus recognized the weariness of his disciples after their mission work and suggested they retreat to a quiet place to rest. This highlights the importance of rest and rejuvenation even in the midst of ministry or business in life. But despite seeking solitude, Jesus doesn't turn away from the crowd. His compassion for the people, describing them as being sheep without a shepherd, prompts him to go and teach them. This reflects the compassionate nature of Jesus and his commitment to serving others. There are almost 8 billion people in this planet, and the servants of the Lord that he has, you and me, are but a few. And probably our lifetimes would even be enough to cover all the people who needs our help. Ask the Lord for the grace to be more sensitive to the people around you, and that the Lord will bring you energy to outstretch yourself even amidst weariness and exhaustion. So when the time comes, when the Lord disturbs your me time, rather than complain, ask Him, What can I do for you today, Lord? Have you been blessed by today's reflection? Please like and share this video with your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Denmark Gilesanya. Thank you and have a blessed day.